Alright, what's up everyone? We've got another image sent in and I'll just come down and show you the one we're working with. Working with this image right here, trying to recreate its exact edit and he has sent this image into us. So by looking at his style, you can see there's really strong oranges and really strong teals that are almost on the green side. So really strong, lots of contrast, uh, lots of grain, real vintage look sometimes. And yeah, if you guys like his style, you can go give him a follow down in the description. And he's got his presets here. So if you come over here, you guys can check out all the presets he offers you guys. So come over here and just look around see what you like and yeah check them out so let's get into the lightroom and see if we can create something a little like this the edited photo from his instagram and we've got the raw unedited photo over here that he had sent us so the first thing i'm going to do drop the warmth so i'll drop that to about there and because you can see there's a lot more blues in that in the background and then the sheets here and stuff so let's up the contrast. Um, highlights. Um, shadows definitely need to come up. We want to get rid of a lot of this. So just bring that up. And let's try bringing up some blacks. And we want to add in a lot of tone curves because that's going to that's gonna be how we get the contrast in the colors and really get the skin tones to pop and get the colors throughout the rest of the image. So we'll do that right now. Okay, so that's the tone curve done. We brought this point up just to add a little fade so it softens those blacks there because otherwise they look quite digital and harsh sometimes. So it's just a bit of a fade, general, just real slight S curve. I brought down the white point just a touch so you get a flattish looking look to the whites and highlights there. I might just quickly bring down those highlights a bit. So looking at these tone curves you've got the red the green and the blue so you can see that there's a bit more red in the mid-tones and the shadows and the greens are about the same and then the blues we have a bit less so then you get these warm tones throughout the image if you leave just a bit of reds in there and then red and green kind of creates a bit of an orange so we're going to roll with that and that this is going to get our skin tones to pop you can see how we've got more tones in the mid tones here we sort of brought it out a bit so yeah that's going to allow us to get these really nice colors in the mid tones so for the skin tones and yeah Let's move on to maybe HSL or let's come back up here. Let's just drop those highlights even more. Um, right. Whites can come down. Far too bright. Um, blacks. and uh clarity you will just do a bit of clarity so it's quite hard to spot clarity it's kind of like sharpening but it's just just the crispness to the image 
Um, we definitely want Vibrance. So we really want the mid-tones to pop in this. We want rich looking mid-tones. And then we'll take down the saturation though. Okay, let's move on to some HSL. So, let's start with the skin tones because they're the obvious ones. Saturation of the oranges. And we obviously want to make them more of a red. And the yellows can go in that direction as well. And then the reds we're going to shift towards an orange. There's not many reds in there. Because otherwise when you shift these two all the way and keep the reds where they are it starts to look a little too red so we'll go that way keep it about there and it looks a little too red maybe a little too dark but that's just because the exposure is down so we've got a brush on her and we'll just brush over the areas that i think need a little bit of brightening so over most of her face in here and right in there. A little on the arm. And if we just get rid of our masking there, you can see how this affects. Let's just bring up exposure. Okay, right, let's roll with that for now. And just before I do any more colors, I just want to do the grain because there's quite a bit of it and sometimes that can affect your perception of the colors. Nice and big and pretty rough. Let's bring that up. Okay, might have to, um, maybe a bit more, but we'll leave it there for now. All right, back to the colors. And as you can see, the blues here are very much in the whites. So those whites have really captured a lot of blues and aquas. So what I'll do, I can see the blues only affect the window up here and the aquas don't. But the blues do, so we'll use the blues as our reference. I'll just match up the blues with the windows. So, just a pretty nice teal going on. We'll just drop the saturation. And then the aquas. We just want this nice green to the aquas. So, let's shift them. Let's go. With that and then we definitely want to drop the saturation of them okay um, the yellows we will want to bring up the saturation of those just affecting her hair there pretty much and then luminance so we want deep skin tones oranges and reds so let's drop the luminance of these colors might mean we have to come back with a brush and brighten them a tad but deep colors uh, the yellows can maybe stay there and then just going by his other photos we'll just drop some of these blues can come down And right, uh, back to saturation, 
drop these so it's kind of in line with the blues uh, greens definitely come down even though there's not many greens in this I've got to drop those does have quite true greens uh, pretty warm greens in this one maybe we'll go with that right uh, we'll move on sharpening don't think we need to do any sharpening we're about done let's just fine-tune some colors I think I think we're all good for exposure in that I'm going to add in a bit more grain. And then I'm going to brighten the subject again. Just lifting this a bit. Just do a new brush for her face and just up the warmth just to keep a bit more color or up the saturation, high up the saturation. Make sure those highlights keep nice and soft. Okay, um, I think our skin tones could look a little more red and our lips here, they're sort of a bit too orange, they're sort of not separated from the skin tones at all. So bringing them back just a bit. Yellows I think, especially in her hair, just there, can be warmer. Perhaps the luminance could come down. But bringing down the luminance can affect the saturation, so might bring that down. And then I think. Um, we look pretty good, maybe a little too red if anything now, maybe in the oranges. I think that's looking pretty good. The oranges maybe the luminance could pop back up a bit. So just so they get a bit more of a shine. And then, um, did we do some extra grain? We did. Could be a little more rough. So if you look up here, I think you can see just more grain. Just bring back some aquas maybe. make sure they are kept quite green and 
And same with the blues. Go a bit more teal. But then saturation of the blues might come down a bit more. Just because we look a little too saturated in the darker areas. Which is where the blues are the strongest. Then... Uh, Again, I think the brightness of the skin tones could have a bit more of a shine to them. Um, otherwise, I think we're looking pretty good and I might just leave it there guys. So, if you guys want to leave a comment on who you guys want to see. I'll go through all the comments and I'll go reach out to them on Instagram, ask them to send in a photo and do a tutorial on them. So that definitely helps me when you guys do that. Helps me find a lot of people, great photographers that don't have many followers, but have great images and send in their photos. And yeah, check out his presets, check out my presets. Presets are really great if you're learning or maybe you're, you aren't very good with curves so there's tons of value in them and yeah you guys can go give them a follow down in the description i'll put all those links down there and i'll catch you in the next one cheers